Meat lovers rejoice. Oh. Our next. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Tell me to rejoice. Okay, I'm gonna do. Meat lovers rejoice. Oh. <laughs> Our next guests are bringing the very best in beef to America. That's right. Here to teach us about real. Kobe beef, Real. and to cook us a mouth-watering meal are 212 Steakhouse owner Nikolai Volper and executive chef Keith Jeter. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hi, thank How you for you? being here. Thank you. Okay, so Kobe beef, that is the hot new mm -hmm. meat in the meat world. Why has it become so popular in recent years, and why is it so damn expensive? <laughs> it is very expensive because it's very limited quantity. It's only 3,000 cows per year certified to become a Kobe beef. Oh. And that's for all around the world. 3,000 around the world? Around the world, yeah. Recently, mm -hmm. uh, in the past year and a half, USA allowed the, Jap uh, the Japanese Kobe beef to be imported into the USA. Before that was banned for 13 years due to the uh, med cow disease. Oh. Now, in the last year, also, it's available some restaurants in, uh, in uh, Europe, mm -hmm. but it's very limited. Yeah. It's the best meat. Like you see, the, the, uh, the beef as the kings there, mm -hmm. the way they treat them, the way they raise them, the way well, they eat. Tell us a little bit about how they raise them. You know, you hear things like they pet them every day, they feed them Definitely steak, pet them and every they day. feed them beer. And <laughs> they <laughs> massage. They yes. massage them every day. They get uh, treated they better beer. than humans. Yes. They treat, yes, in some cases, yes. yes. Wow. So basically, they treat like a kings mm -hmm. over there. They pet them every day, they massage them every day, they listen to music to relax, they have gain appetite. They eat uh, very nutritional uh, food, like uh, soya beans, a uh, blend of uh, wheat and corns. So the quality of the meat to become very, very marbling and uh, tender. Oh, so wow. what, ma seen? what makes Kobe beef so special? Well, Is it Kobe, because the, the cows well, are treated so well? The Kobe so beef well? have to come from the Tajima cow, which is translated in Japanese language, black cow. Okay. It have to be raised in a Kobe beef uh, region and uh, in certain uh, farms mm -hmm. and the way they raise it it has to be very pure line uh, butt line mm -hmm. to follow and after the slaughter of the cow they terminate if they can be uh, certified as a kobe beef mm -hmm. or not that's the oh. of the quality of the meat quality of the marbling it has to be very high quality of the meat, very high to be certified. But so you make quality, a good point, yeah. though, because, Chef Keith, we see a lot of times Kobe beef on the menu, but yeah. you're only one of few restaurants that are actually certified to serve this beef in it's the one restaurant. Of two in North America. Wow. So is that bootleg only... Kobe beef? Yeah, what are we seeing? Well, actually, <laughs> yeah, official, if you visit uh, the Japanese Kobe Beef Association, officially they allowed only a few places due mm -hmm. to the limitation of the, the, the cows. So basically, it's only two restaurants right now available in the United States. That's 212 Steakhouse and a Steakhouse in Wynn, Las Vegas. So then what is the other Kobe beef that we see on all these menus, especially in New York City? <laughs> what type of beef That's is that? That's the big question. Really? Basically, it's a blend. It's a, yeah, it's just like you take an animal and you mate it with another animal to get the same type of marbling, but then it's not traditional Kobe. It's not like... What you get from you exactly. Basically, right. what they're representing. So it's Bobby beef. <laughs> exactly. Actually, it's a wagyu beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's here all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's a, <laughs> actually, it's a wagyu beef, uh -huh. which is crossover between uh, Japanese wagyu, mm -hmm. which is means black cow, uh -huh. and American, for example, American black Angus. Oh. So it's crossover between both cows, yes. Okay. Or for example, an Australian Wagyu, which is also crossover, mm -hmm. but it's not in pure, not in the way it's being raised, not in the quality. Okay. For example, in Japan, to become a certified butcher to determine the marbling and the beef and the quality, you have to study for five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about 36 different grades of meat. Wow. Yes, wow. for example, in the United States, you have only three grades, that choice. And what grade is this here? And this is grade 8.5. Mm -hmm. To okay. be certified, you have to be either 8.4 and 8.5 or over, and the score of the marbling have to be 6 or 7. You see the marbling in the middle of the stakes? Oh, mm -hmm. the design the, there, the pattern. The number of A range from 1 to 5, the number A. Mm -hmm. So that's measure the texture of the meat, the way it's uh, the texture and the, the color of the meat. Then the number 1 to 12 determinate the fat marbling 
on the score of the, the marbling and the quality of the fat. Now, inside. Chef, what is this? Himalayan salt and wasabi? That is Himalayan salt and wasabi, and we put a Japanese soy sauce good. <laughs> right on top of it, and we cook it. And one way you want to cook this, because it is a very delicate and tender meat, and the marbling is so, so beautiful mm -hmm. inside of it, that it will melt very quickly, and you can mm -hmm. overcook it very quickly. You want to eat it to a rare, to a medium rare, so you get the full flavor of the meat. So how, how, do you, how do you cook it? Do you kick it on a skillet? Or well, it? what we do at 212, uh -huh. is that we have a very high heat broiler, about 600 degrees, okay. and we oh, keep these grates hot. super, yeah. super red hot, mm -hmm. and we put the meat on it, and we give a nice sear on mm. two sides, maybe like three, 13 to 14 seconds, mm -hmm. and then we pull it off and put it on the other side. Ooh. But before we do that, we also put on the soy salt, we put the uh, soy sauce, the salt, and yeah. the pepper right on top of it so you can give it a good flavor, oh. and that's how you just serve it. You just want so it nice. Right now. <laughs> now, we know that Kobe beef is not cheap, so mm -hmm. how much would a nice little piece of beef like that run run, run Shannon when he right. takes me out to dinner at 2 and 2? <laughs> well, Shannon, bring out your black card. Oh! <laughs> okay. That's what I'm so, talking wow. about. We're talking $100 Yeah, here. yeah, park the Bentley, bring out the black card. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, at uh, 212 State House, we, uh, Selling eighteen dollars an ounce, mm -hmm. even in Japan. Eighteen dollars an ounce. An ounce. Okay, yes. yeah. that's but not that bad. Not yeah. that bad. Keep I'm... in mind that everywhere in the world range from forty to forty-five dollars, even in Japan mm. per ounce. Oh wow, okay. What we were trying to do, we we're trying to introduce so we the meat to people. Okay. We're trying to we're trying to let educate, them understand what it is, introduce. educate them because okay. Okay. you know it's such a delicate meat and it's our passion to make yeah. this. So we we don't try to overprice it. We want people to come in because you're not going to eat just one ounce. No, mm -hmm. not at all. So, so where can they ten, come to taste? Ten ounces would be hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. That's nothing, I got Shannon. You. I got you. Okay, yeah, let's cool. Do it. <laughs> okay, so where's two one two located so we can come all and taste this wonderful meat? We're on Fifty Third Street between First and Second. All right, Fantastic. we'll see you there and get her a big 20 ounce. Why not? Let's go for it. 20 ounce. 20 yeah, ounce. Why, don't you, why don't you do the 40 ounce for two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like right. well, we'll like see you guy. there and we'll see you when we return. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>